The Posterior Capsule Tear, How I Manage It in 2022. Posterior Capsule Tears, they happen about one in every 300 cases in my experience. That's about 0.33% of cases. Every surgeon will have posterior capsule tears or breaks, also known as PC breaks or PC tears. It's up to the surgeon to, number one, prevent them from occurring. Number two, knowing that they will occur, minimize the likelihood and frequency of a PC break. And number three, know how to manage them when they do occur. So here's a routine cataract surgery case. We have safely created a five millimeter anterior capsular axis with a cystotome attached to viscoelastic. We safely removed the nucleus with our usual chopping technique. And now we remove the cortex from within the bag. We use a tangential sweeping motion to remove the larger cortical fragments from the equator of the capsular bag. Then we're left with these fine strands of cortex that are adherent to the capsule and can be visualized on the posterior capsule through the microscope. Here we see the capsule develops a horseshoe tear probably because our aspiration was too high for this capsule. So we identify the tear immediately, stop, Keep the irrigation going. Keep our foot pedal on foot position number one. Assess the situation. Then place our OcuCoat viscoelastic into the capsular bag to tamponade the vitreous so it does not prolapse anterior to the posterior capsule. As we inject viscoelastic, the horseshoe capsular tear extends and becomes more stellate in shape. We then remove our irrigation and aspiration instrument from the eye. We infuse enough viscoelastic to keep the eye formed and hopefully keep the vitreous posterior to the posterior capsular tear. We then place our three-piece monofocal IOL into the eye with the haptics in the sulcus. Because we created a well-centered capsular axis that has a diameter that is about 5 millimeters and our optic diameter is about six millimeters, we can place a cohesive viscoelastic, in this case Helon GV, into the anterior chamber, anterior to the IOL, then gently push the optic posterior to the anterior capsular rim, almost like buttoning the button of a shirt. We now have the optic inside the capsular bag, posterior to the anterior capsular leaflets, and the haptics in the sulcus in a lens configuration known as optic capture. We can then safely remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. We then hydrate our corneal incisions, then use a cyclodialysis spatula to sweep the iris and the area below our incisions to see if there's vitreous prolapse or incarceration to our corneal incisions. In this case, there's no vitreous prolapse despite the PC break. The IOL is in the capsular bag and the patient had a beautiful, normal visual result. So this is a good example of how I manage the PC break if the posterior capsule tears during irrigation and aspiration. We always identify the problem early, detach, get control, then systematically move to our plan B for placing our lens implant. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.